Hi, I'm Sergey Tsarev, and I'm one of the founders and the CTO at Clustrix. And in this video, we'll cover why the scale-up approach to databases is not the way to go for your application. So when you look at your database, there are really two fundamental scalability pressures that uh, you see from the application. The first scalability pressure comes in the data set size. So as you get more users, you get more data flowing from your application, um, that's one of the stresses on the database, is just the raw volume of data that you have to store in the database. And the second scalability pressure is really uh, the usage pattern, so how much concurrency you see at the database, how many queries are coming in, the types of queries are coming in. And so uh, eventually your database uh, hits up against both of these walls. It starts to see uh, concurrency pressures from too many queries coming in simultaneously to the database. And it starts to see uh, scalability pressures in the data set size. And with these two things combined, when you have a large data set and lots of query concurrency, the database begins to slow down. So the database, you know, for queries that would usually take you know, several milliseconds to complete, you now have queries that are taking seconds to complete. And if you have a bunch of queries that you need to render your front web page, and uh, instead of that taking 100 milliseconds, it's now taking 30 seconds, your database might as well be down. So once you start running out of database capacity, one of the first things that people generally do is buy themselves a bigger box. But the problem with the bigger box is that you've paid maybe four or five times the price of your previous solution, but you didn't see four or five times increase in performance. You probably saw maybe a 2x performance increase from that kind of solution. And so the issue is that in a little bit, you run out of capacity again because your data sets keep on growing and your application usage keeps on increasing, so you'll eventually wind up with the same set of issues. And this time, the issues may manifest themselves as um, you have a problem with I.O. throughput and the number of seeks on, on your drives are getting too high. So you end up looking at something a little bit more expensive. Perhaps you're looking now at an SSD uh, kind of solution where you buy a Fusion I.O. card or a Verdant or one of these types of um, cards that now put you in even a different price uh, range. So you're, you're now looking at paying maybe eight times the price for your database, but you didn't get an eight times performance improvement. You probably got a four times performance improvement when you look at the total wor workload. So really what you've done is every time you put money into this database, you understand that this is not the solution that you're going to keep for your application. You're simply buying yourself time. And ultimately, where does it end up? If you look at a very large presence, somebody like uh, Facebook, for example, there's no system in the world that's large enough that can actually accommodate their entire workload. It simply doesn't exist. If they had infinite money and they wanted to buy the system, they couldn't buy it. And the biggest system that you can get, something like uh, you know, a huge Sun or an HP machine with an EMC Symmetrics in the back end, you're looking at spending millions of dollars. So it's something you know, that's 100 times more expensive than the machine you originally started out with. But you're not going to see 100 times improvement in, in your performance. You're only going to see a 10x improvement in performance. And ultimately, you're going to hit a scalability wall. You'll get to a place where you can't buy a bigger machine anymore. And so that's why you don't want to scale up. You want to find a way to actually scale out your database. Okay.